Hey guys, what's up? It's just call me Sniper here, and today I'm doing another tutorial video on how to install custom Nazi zombie maps for Call of Duty World at War on the PC. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is you want to go to zombiemodding.com. This is where pretty much all the custom zombie maps are nowadays because of customcod.com being shut down or whatever, I don't even know what happened. So once you're there, you want to make an account because it will not let you download anything unless you make an account. Then you want to go over to here where it says downloads and then click on the downloads thing. Then go to uh, category name where it says right here. Go to Nazi Zombies, Call of Duty 5, World War PC version. Then go to maps and then you have all these different types of maps. Let me explain. So with uh, prototype style maps, it's just like how Nacho de Toten was so it would be like no perk machines, no upgraded weapons, no hellhounds, all that kind of stuff. For Ruct maps, you know how Ruct was with all its abilities, China Numa, the Rees. Then you have modded maps, which are just custom maps that people have made from scratch, and it has all different types of stuff you can do in there. Beta maps, which are you know beta releases for maps that are about to come out or still being made. And unfinished and broken maps. I don't even know what those are. But uh, anyway, I usually get the custom Nazi zombie maps. But today I'm actually going to do the Reese one. I'm going to do large. And I downloaded this one. Hotch Don Der Haas Der Untoten V2. So uh, with this website, you click on it. You click download now. It'll take you to... Gamefront or some other website where you can download from there. But with this website, they're always exe files. So you want to click on that. It might be in your WinRAR folder, like right here. Uh, it's like right here and stuff. So yeah. Then once you've done that click install and if you guys might hear like a clicking noise I am actually not sure what that is you guys might not hear it but I'm hearing it through my headset so I don't know anyway so you just click install now it's just extracting all the files that were in that exe folder I just click close out of that close out of that don't need all this stuff open close out of WinRAR gets my CPU from like exploding uh, wow, it's taking forever. It's taking forever. There we go. Now it's going a little faster. Oh, wow. Now just click Start Menu Shortcut and Finish. So now once you go into your Call of Duty World at War, go to your Mods folder, it will be there. Um, I, I cannot show you how to launch it with this um, program I'm using. And for some reason, Fraps just, just does not work with me whenever I'm recording my desktop. And it just crashes and stuff like that. I'm going to see if I can get that fixed. But anyway, guys, um, depending on what map it is, it depends on how it's going to launch. Sometimes you can actually just click launch the map. Like, whenever you launch it, there will actually be a little option that says launch non-co-op or launch co-op or something like that. Or sometimes you actually have to enable your console, type in your console, you type in map, or you type in slash map. And then you type in what the map is. Exactly how it reads. But um, I think I'll put examples of how that would be in the description. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you could please, please, please help me out and subscribe. Maybe tell people about this this channel. Because I really... Like, I have so many video views, but only 20 subscribers. But I don't care. But it would really be appreciated if you guys would subscribe and help me out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.